Hey everybody, it's Sal here again, back uh, with uh, an unboxing. Now, I've been um, receiving uh, TV, uh, or watching TV from an antenna here, uh, just north of Toronto. A lot of channels, we get them from uh, from downtown, as well as across the lake, um, from Grand Island and parts uh, around there, from Buffalo. Um, so I decided to pick up this Channel Master Titan II pre amplifier. Uh, now there's two kinds, there's two versions. There's a medium gain and a high gain. So the medium gain, now this is the high gain here which they claim will boost your signal by 30%. Um, the median, medium gain uh, boosts by 16% and if you're close um, to broadcast area, well first of all if you're in the city of, a, of where the stations are broadcasting, you don't shouldn't need a preamp at all. Uh, if you're slightly outside of that area, you should use a medium, but if you're really far, uh, then Channel Master says, you know, go ahead and use the the high gain uh, booster amplifier. Now, if we take a look inside here, now this stuff is meant to be mounted, well, it's, it's you know, ruggedized so you can mount it outside and it mounts upside down like it'll mount upside down like so and there's your connectors and possibly they, they have the covers around it to keep them sealed. Um, we have our manuals and um, for those not familiar with uh, this kind of stuff, preamps and stuff, um, it is a powered device. Now the neat thing about this stuff is that it is powered through the coax so your line that's going outside to the antenna the antenna will connect um, in here into the uh, into the input, and then the line going from the house, you know, from your TVs or distribution center, will plug into the output. Okay. Now, the way it gets powered is through this little power injector, and this is power. This is powered by inside. So you've got this outside. You use this. It'll pass a, a bit of current. Through the um, through the coax to the booster and powers it. So this is uh, pretty neat. Uh, I'm sure other companies do that as well. I did not know that, um, and once I knew, I understood how this thing is powered and how you don't need an electrical source near the antenna. Um, you, um, I uh, decided to pick one up, and so we're gonna try it out because there's a few stations from Buffalo that are kind of tough to get. They're pretty weak. Um, so hopefully this helps. So we're looking at the mounting kit here. Now, excuse me, this isn't one of my normal videos where I've got my camera on a tripod. But um, here is the uh, bracket and it would go like so through the holes there. Of course, you take the nuts off, you go put that, oh my goodness, like so. All right, just like that. And again, this would be down um, and this is inside the house. Not too far from the uh, from the preamp, um, but yeah, and then it also comes with a nice piece of coax to connect. Uh, I believe this is from your antenna to to here to the preamp. So, folks, if uh, you um, were thinking about you know getting one of these and what it came with, how it's powered and all that, hopefully this answered your questions. Um, you know, I can't wait to use it, and um, we're gonna give it a shot. And if it uh, proves to be useful, I will follow up with my review. Thanks for watching and uh, ciao for now.